Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of navigating around the statistical software GPower. GPower is a statistical software that will allow us to conduct power analyses for different statistical tests. To start off, we can go ahead and go to our file or edit options to either save or copy our distribution outputs. We can also go to view to change some of our viewing options. From there, we can go to test, and this is where we can select the different statistical test that we'd like to conduct a power analysis for. If we don't select the specific statistical test up here, we can also go down here and select our family of tests, and then select the specific statistical analysis here under the statistical test menu. From there, we can go ahead and select the type of power analysis that we'd like to conduct. The most common type of power analysis is an a priori power analysis. This is where we compute the necessary sample size for a given alpha level, power, and effect size. But you also have some other options, such as a post hoc test, where we can calculate the achieved power given an alpha level sample size and effect size. And we can also do a sensitivity analysis, which will allow us to compute the effect size that we could detect at a specific alpha level power and sample size. Once we've selected all of those options, GPower will ask for a couple of different things, depending on what type of test, as well as the type of power analysis that we're conducting. One of those things might be the type of tails that we have, or the number of tails that we have for a test. We might have our effect size itself, and there's some conventions here if you hover your mouse over that effect size. Your alpha level, and the desired power that you'd like. And depending on this particular test, you could have other options, including the allocation ratio. All right. Thanks for watching this short video about how to navigate GPower. 